I was doing research about dreams and stuff like that and I know that many of us have demonic dreams. What we call dreams are not really dreams. Many of the time our dreams are really supernatural experiences. And many of the time some of us may have demonic dreams. So what you should do when you have a demonic dream, for instance, let's say that you are having a sexual dream or you have a dream that you are speaking to a dead loved one like your dead mother, dead father, so on and so on. You have to know that we can't speak to the dead. The people that you are speaking to are demons. The women that you are having sex with in your dreams are demons. The men that you are having sex with in your dreams are demons. And I know some of the time we can't control our actions in our dreams. But if you can, and what you should do, while you are dreaming supernatural experience reject what is going on if it is demonic i reject it right now i renounce it i cut all ties to it i am not setting up any covenant with a demon at all in jesus name see that in your dream supernatural experience or say that after you wake up like right after you wake up so what you should do is write this down I renounce this dream I reject it I don't want any covenant with any type of demon any type of snare or issue a demon is trying to place my way i reject it right now in the name of jesus i renounce it i don't want it i don't want anything to do with it pretty much say things like that because what demons are trying to do if you have seen my other video i have said that if you look in Genesis, I don't have the scripture on me right now, but God gave us dominion over this world. So what demons try to do, demons can't act upon this world unless they are in agreement with a human being. So let's say that a witch sends a demon your way. Well, the only way that demon can come your way is when that witch sends that demon and let me make this as short as possible so when you have dreams and stuff like that demons will try to bring curses upon you and try to get you in your dreams to agree upon a certain curse or a certain type of action to happen to you in your future so what you should do when you have demonic dreams what I just told you and you should write that down I renounce it I reject it I don't want anything to do with it any type of demonic snare or whatever demonic trap that demons are trying to place in my way I cut it off I decline it I don't want it in Jesus name amen something like that I pray that makes sense and please remember this. If you are seeing your dead mother, your dead father, your dead uncle, your dead friend, your dead whatever, if you are interacting with your dead loved ones or someone that you know or knew that died, those are demons in disguise. If you are having sex with pretty women, women that you knew, your ex-girlfriends, your ex-boyfriends, handsome guys, so on and so on, those are demons. So stop 
wanting those dreams. Stop coming in agreement with those dreams because demons come to curse, not to make things better or for you to have a fun time. They come to curse. I want you to understand that because I know there are some people who love those sexual dreams. I used to love them and I really did not get many of them when I was in sin. But after I gave my life to God, they came like crazy. So when you have those demonic dreams, reject them. Say it, say it with your mouth. I reject those dreams. God, if these dreams are not of you, I reject it. I renounce it. I want nothing to do with them. I bind and cast out the demons. I don't want anything to do with this demonic stuff. Say it like that. Each time when you have a demonic dream, I was talking or I was emailing this one guy and he was telling me about the types of dreams that he get. And I told him to say the same things. I told him exactly to say those same things. And if you can say it in your dreams as well, don't interact with anyone in your dreams because usually there are demons. Does this make any sense? Don't interact with demons while you are awake or while you are sleep. And demons don't always show up in a beast-like appearance. They can show up in other appearances. They can show up as an angel of light. So don't be deceived. So test out the spirits to see if they are of God or not. And we know a spirit is of God is by the fruit, by why they are coming to you. If they are coming to you out of pride or they are really angry with you or not so much if they are angry with you, but if they are coming to you other than for the glory and honor of God, usually it is a demon. So don't go somewhere with a spirit that looks angelic unless you test it out first to see if it really is an angel or not. So I pray that this makes sense. I really do. So, God bless.